Hi to all. So I want to share you my new control, the Adaptive Card Designer control. And uh, this control will be available inside the uh, PMP React Control Gallery. So the agenda is uh, I want to share just uh, an, a recap of the previous control, the Adaptive Card uh, Host uh, React control. And then I want to show you the new Adaptive Card Designer control and how to use inside SharePoint framework. So just a, a simple recap about the adaptive card host. Uh, this React control, it's uh, a control that's able to, by using the SDK of the adaptive card to render an adaptive card with the look and feel of Fluent UI. So by using the Fluent UI React control for actions and inputs inside a uh, SharePoint framework solution. It's an uh, Control that take uh, the adaptive card uh, payload, the adaptive the the, the object data, and uh, merge inside uh, by using the adaptive card template uh, extension. So create uh, the card and then uh, render inside uh, on a web part, for example. There are different kind of uh, properties that you can use. Uh, for example, you can use. Uh, the property on invoke action to manage the, the action that you can uh, execute inside adaptive card, for example, the submit uh, action, the on error, or for example, the on set custom element or on set custom action to add more controls inside this adaptive card host. This is the result. So uh, this is just two uh, samples of the same web part that uh, was rendered inside on a SharePoint page or inside on a Teams tab. The cool feature of this control is that uh, use uh, on a custom theme for three kind of theme uh, for, for, for teams, light, uh, dark, uh, and uh, high contrast. And uh, we are able to render in the correct way with the correct look and feel the uh, adaptive card inside with the same look and feel of the teams for example. So now it's time to the adaptive card design control. So this control at this moment, it's not uh, available. Uh, will be available in the next version, uh, I hope, uh, of the PMP Resable React control. It's not available because uh, I spend a lot of time to understand how to put this, uh, so the standard designer by using the SDK inside an React control. I I, I fixed a lot of problem on hosting this designer inside a React control, and I refactored the previous adaptive card host control to share more code from the, that control to this uh, uh, adaptive card designer control. The cool feature is you have to use only one React control. Uh, we have some property that could be the same of uh, uh, the previous control. You need to pass the, the, the card payload, the data, the Fluent UI theme, the context of the web part, and some properties like uh, enable data binding support, show data structure toolbox, and, and so on. Uh, a, cool, a cool thing is uh, you have to think about uh, this control simplify the use of the designer inside uh, a SharePoint uh, uh, framework uh, web part. It's very interesting. Later, I'll show you some, uh, some demo. So this is uh, the result. Uh, it's the standard adaptive card designer that it's hosted inside on a Fluent UI panel because uh, the, the, the adaptive card designer need to fit all the space inside the page. And if you want to try to put this designer inside on a web part, it would be on a problem on the height of, uh, of the web part, for example. So I want to share the demo. This is the, the web part that I will really show you. And this web part uh, hosts, uh, in this case, two controls. The first one is the adaptive card host. And you are able to see the uh, simple adaptive card uh, rendered here. And then on a button to open the new control, the designer control. So first of all, we can change, uh, of course, uh, the, the adaptive card to render. I want to go here. And then if I click on the open designer, 
we are able to see the adaptive car designer hosted inside an Azure point page. So with this designer, you are able to change all. So it's the same designer uh, of the adaptive card, and you are able to change, uh, for example, the element properties. You are able to see the card structure, and you are able to see a cool feature, I think, the data structure. So in the adaptive card host control, we injected automatically the uh, some some context property from uh, from uh, from SharePoint framework. For example, the, the theme or some property of the context like uh, the, the Azure AD info, culture info, user info, and uh, SP list info, site info, and uh, web info, and so on. With the designer, you are able to automatically use this property, this complex object inside your card, and then render by using the adaptive card host control. We can, of course, uh, click on preview mode to see the preview of the card. And uh, the customization that I added to this, uh, to the standard designer, it's, for example, the change the host application by using the teams, uh, light theme, dark and high contrast. In this way, you are able to see the same card in the different themes, uh, theme or the default that come from uh, this specific SharePoint site. Another cool feature, it's uh, this one, the breakpoints. This is not available at this moment in, in the default uh, adaptive card designer, but basically it's uh, uh, a way to select all the breakpoints that come from Fluent UI. In this way, you are able to check the uh, dimension of your uh, adaptive card uh, with all the breakpoints that we have inside the Fluent UI and then inside an Azure point page. If you click on the Fluid or Fit to Content, you are able to see the web part fitted to the content, uh, so the, the adaptive card fitted to the content of itself. If you remove the preview mode, you are able to, of course, to see the design of the card. You are able to change, for example, you are able to change color. You are able to change the dimension of the text. And if you try to see the preview, you are able to, to see the changes on the card. And the cool thing is this new save button. If you click on the save button, you are able to manage a custom function. And then, for example, if I try to click to close the adaptive card designer, you are able to see that this web, this adaptive card, sorry, uh, it's uh, updated with the new payload that come from the uh, adaptive card designer. Another thing is uh, I made a change on the new card button. And uh, when you click on the new card, we can uh, uh, inform the user if uh, are sure to create a new card, of course. And uh, at this moment, we have an empty card, but the control have the possibility to, just with a property, to share the payload that we can use for the new card. The cool feature that I added is this snippet functionality. The snippets, it's like the uh, Visual Studio snippets. And in this way, you are able to drag and drop just uh, on a snippet of, it's not a control, but it's, an, it's uh, the payload uh, or part uh, of an adaptive card. And in these uh, simple snippets, you're able to see some uh, elements like uh, an uh, image that have on a specific URL of the SharePoint user photo. And uh, we have some property inside the, so the, the, the um, query string and the user query string. And I use the binding with the root uh, context. It's the same for this label and this one. And this comp uh, these, uh, these properties come from the, the data structure that I pass it to the context that I pass it to the adaptive card. And if I click on the preview mode, I'm able to see my image, my name, and my email of this tenant that come directly from the SharePoint framework context. Of course, if I click on save, 
I'm able to, to, to save this uh, web part and then show uh, by using the adaptive card host. So I want to show you just a simple example of the code. This is the way on to use the adaptive card designer. I created two controls. The finally control could be the adaptive card designer host because uh, this control, it's uh, the control that use uh, an affluent UI panel to open the control that I created, the adaptive card designer. And then this adaptive card designer, it's the core of this uh, control and it's implemented by using React and React Hook and of course the adaptive card designer. Uh, basically, we have some hooks that take the property from the, the control and then set the adaptive card designer instance and global settings and so on. We set the host container that are shared from the adaptive card host control, hide some button in the toolbar, add the uh, choice picker to, to select the, uh, the breakpoint, for example. And uh, at the end, we attach the car designer directly to a specific div inside the React element. I used uh, an, a simple trick to resolve the problem of the adaptive car designer uh, SDK. That this problem is that you are not able to set uh, an, a payload of the card if the Monaco editor is not loaded. So in this case, I show uh, just on a spinner and then I check that if the Monaco editor is loaded, if it's loaded, I remove the spinner and then show directly the div inside uh, with adaptive card designer. Um, another thing that uh, I'm able to share with you, it's uh, a lot of code It's shared from the previous adaptive card host control and I needed to create uh, some new adaptive card designer object. These objects are the peers and the peers it's used when you have to, uh, to, to define the property. For example, if I put uh, an update uh, input here, this is the same uh, date input that come from the adaptive card host control. But if you try to change this property, you need to define an appear object for an element or an action to define all these properties. And then I redefined all the action and element peers to, to use the Fluent UI action or Fluent UI inputs that uh, I implemented in the previous uh, controls. So last thing, there are some fix to, to the CSS of the designer. For example, I set the, I read the errors uh, and not blue as a default to show validation error, for example. And I fixed the CSS to be able to use the designer inside on a panel or on a dialog because, because there are some problems by using the default uh, styles inside these uh, kind of controls. Another thing is uh, there are no uh, possibility to change the theme of the adaptive card designer to take the, the theme of the SharePoint site, for example, because uh, we, we have to redefine completely the CSF of the designer. It's a lot of work. And uh, there are no Anna dark theme for, for the designer. OK, I finish. So next step. The first one was the creation of the adaptive card uh, host component. It's already done. The second, the adaptive card designer component uh, will be available. I open the next version of the library. I create an appear uh, next week. And uh, the next steps, the really next steps, is to create uh, a new set of adaptive card elements by using Fluent UI React, Fluent UI Web Components, or Microsoft Graph Toolkit, and then use directly inside uh, the designer to design the card and in the adaptive card host to host uh, this card. So if you want to contact me, you can use this email, fabio at appv.com, or follow me on Twitter, or LinkedIn, or GitHub. So I'm finished. Uh, back to you, Patrick. Great. Thank you for that.